Hey guys, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, where we're playing as Austria. Um, we're not playing as Austria, we're playing as France. We're about to bash Austria, hopefully. Oh, Provence are taking uh, Avignon. Nice, good on you, Provence. So Austria's got their army over here. So if we go to war with Austria, not to show superiority, because that's a nightmare. If we do it to take over this place, they're allied with England, so that should bring in England, and England won't bring in their allies because um, England won't be the war leader. So let's let's go for it. Let's declare war. Let us march you guys down there, and you guys too. It's not got that good a supply limit. It's got twenty supply limit. You guys can go to Savoy. So, as far as I know, yeah, England got called in, but the rest of them didn't. Venice entered a military alliance with Savoy. Are Venice even against us? No, they're not, which is good, because Venice are a pain in the ass. Um, let's get you guys back in port. Uh, who's that that lost that? Oh, Ferrara lost her. I don't even know that Ferrara had uh, ships out. Oh, and we'll need to raise war taxes, it seems. Yep, and. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, yeah, we've got leaders. That's good. Select army, give us a single man, run you over here, bring out this bloke because he's got siege, and bring you back. There we go, group you, you guys together, and this guy can have these blokes, perfect. There we go, now we just siege that place down. Mild Winter and Duke Siege. Okay. Take Cali. You never have too much manpower. Nice. Like that. That's a good one to have. Let's just group these together. And England's got a single boat here. Right, how's this war looking so far? We're looking hideously outmatched. But with Austria being at war with a f good few people, hopefully that will be to our benefit. The more of Austria that we can siege, the uh, the worse off they do. If I can grab just two of you guys and a cannon and rushes down here. Uh, let's lose the admin points, that's no problem. And I can start sieging all the English lands down here. And that means England will lose their war enthusiasm. Which is a bonus for us. There we go, Provence are making up an army again. I don't know what these are trying to do. Oh, there we go. They pulled on us, but they didn't get anything. Which is a shame. Oh. What's the... 6-2? Jeez. We got a 1-4. And we lost it. Great. We're retreating to Toulouse. Toulouse or not Toulouse? It looks like we're gonna lose. This has been more difficult than it should have been, to be fair. Like, this entire thing has been more difficult than it should have been. Do 
just this series. Like, I expected this to be over and done with pretty fast. But no. It looks like it's going to be a long one. Which is upsetting. Sorry, if we just sit and wait on the uh, the troops recovering. How? Like, what? Let's move these men up here. Ridiculous. We can get a new technology, which we don't want. We want to come over here and grab that. Go and we'll see if we can take out this army before I'm getting any reinforcements in. Let's uh, drop it down to speed three. Should be able to catch these guys. There we go. We're mobilizing the rest of our troops. Are we gonna lose us? For real? Ugh. Lost our air. That sucks. That really sucks. And also, we're gonna lose this fight as well. Oh, we're rolling decently in the last couple of sections here. Oh, no, and then we roll a zero. Just as they reinforce, we roll a zero. Yeah, and we lose that fight as well. Jesus Christ. Ah! Oh, Magdeburg's got the Protestant Reformation. Siege of Vod is over. What do you want, Austria? You're gonna take half my fucking land off me, aren't you? God. Okay, whatever. Just fucking do it. Oh, we seeded a load of places. We ended the vassalization of Ferrara, and we paid fucking money. God damn it! It's just a fucking nightmare. Austria is just so difficult to take over. It's not even Austria. I just want my locations back. I don't, I don't even care about Ferrara being my vassal. Naples is still my vassal. Retho we lost. We lost these two. Is that a claim or is that...? Yeah, it's just a claim. We lost Savoy and Retho. Jesus Christ! Fuck you, England. Honestly. God fucking damn it. Yeah, let's grab that. Prestige from land battles. At least we've always got this colony. Because that's more national tax. Ugh. God fucking damn it. Knew that was probably a bad idea. Look at the size of them! Jeez. Just because they've got that fucking line that goes right across me. Why are you a fucking rival to me? Proclaim a guarantee against you. Like, you love me. Like, drop the rival. Bern changes to Protestant. Um, I don't think so. Uh, get out of this. How long will it take? Oh. Infinite time. 
Because we've got religious zeal. Great. That's just what I need. And this guy's still not being freaking made into a, a cardinal. Hey, awesome. You have no leader. Stick that guy on and move over there. Actually... Can we grab one of these? Puerto Rico. Let's see if we can grab that. Establish a base in the Caribbean. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the... Are you my transports? Cogs? Yes, cogs. There we go. I'm going to grab you guys and pull these up here. Apparently that's the fastest way to go. Then I'm going to grab just my light ships and send them to Bordeaux. Such a nightmare. Hopefully those guys can get there alright. Caribbean's got such a high base tax that you kind of want to get in there. It's fucking Portugal, man. We've got a little base up here. There we go. I mean, there's two things that we could do. We could either go down here and get the Portugal, the Portugal place, or we could start taking over all of these scrub lords with a level 3 military tech. Which might be an idea. Oh, my boats. Yeah, my boats are getting there. Hey, perfect. So they'll drop them here, we'll attach these guys to the boats, and we will bring them down to Puerto Rico. Yeah, uh, one stability. Let's lose the stability because we've got a lot of admin points. Let's shove it back up again. <clears throat> and this guy should arrive in Puerto Rico soon. 28 days. As soon as he's, he arrives, these guys should arrive as well. <clears throat> there we go, and just drop them straight off. We don't have a presence in Canada? Oh, we'll get colonial enthusiasm if we do that. Yeah, we can do that, it's no problem. We can just recall them afterwards. Uh, oh god. We're getting a load of places converting to Protestant now. Eh, uh, well. Austria's getting it as well. Which is good to see. There we go, so we drop those guys off there. And we recall him from there. And send him up here. Does this count as Canada? Does Inu count as Canada? So and there's one that's like a there's a map mode region map mode. Northern America, North America what's the um at least one pro province in Northern America. That's Northeastern America. This is Northern America. Okay. There we go. Let's send them there. Oh no! Um. 
And as soon as he's there, we'll just recall him and send him back to Puerto Rico. And then we'll just abandon this. Because we can't really afford it. Like, we can't afford just what we've got. Never mind anything else. Because our troops are reinforcing. Actually, our troops aren't reinforcing. Hey, we got the new Cardinal in. Finally. This guy heals 39. He's 38. Austria's got 58 votes. Great, Austria got the two freebies. That's not fucking shit at all, is it? Let's grab that guy, the 38 year old. Hey, excellent supplies. So the ships are a bit cheaper. Why is our money so shit? Oh, because we're over the force limit. Right. We've got two more guys than we actually should have. Take a cannon and... That guy. God. And there you go, now we're too over the floor, over the... The thing. Uh, how's this doing without a guy? 40 a year? That's pretty good. But no chance of new settlers. So it's literally base of 40 a year. There you go, now we're getting 60 a year. How much is that costing me though? Ugh. So, recall him. There we go. And send him back here. So now we've got colonial enthusiasm, which is epic. Send him there. Sorted. And we've got whatever the rest of the stuff was. Vassalized Provence. Hmm. Share Prof Fleet? Nah, let's just leave all of those. And fucking Protestantism spreading less groat bag. Oh, national decisions. Tons of heretics, tons of true faith, and religious unity. Yeah, let's go for that. So we're already like we may have three places who are Protestant, but we've got 115% religious unity. <laughs> and we're slowly clawing our way back to grab this guy. We are the courier controller, motherfucker. Now uh, I can build ship, I want to save my money for now. We're still out of force limit, so there's nothing really we can do there. Right, I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. We seem to be, like, stepping back as opposed to stepping forward, but you know what? That's the way ship goes. So, as always, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and do remember, if you enjoyed the episode, drop a like down below, and if you want to see more European Universalis 4, then subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.